Details tonight uh, about a massive seaweed blob floating out in the Atlantic. Yeah, we've been here before. Scientists are now predicting parts of it could once again wash up on Florida beaches. Researchers at USF just released a new report showing while the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico are in the clear, that won't last for long. And we now know just how big of an impact it could have on Florida beaches. This is what it looked like last spring. I expected white sands, blue sea, not seaweed and garbage. What's worse is when it dries and then it gets really, really smelly. Now scientists predict parts of the Caribbean may see some of the seaweed blob wash ashore again starting in late February, early March. Then by the end of April or early May, it could reach Florida beaches. So in the open ocean, Sargassum is a critical habitat for fish, turtle, and many other animals. When you have too much on the beach, under Florida sunshine, in two days, they will decompose. They smell so bad. They attract bacteria, insects. Just a few months ago, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration gave USF a grant to help create a new sargasm monitoring system. The goal is to be able to tell which specific beaches a bloom is approaching. Right now, they predict the bloom in the Atlantic is growing slightly and they will continue to release monthly reports.